In this video, I'll be explaining the Going Green DLC. Let's get it going. In this DLC, there's a few new things that have been added. Uh, one of those is the new power sources. There's also some new work environments for your prisoners. And also, these can make you some money. So let's get right into that. First off, the new power. There's three new forms of power and a whole new way of how to earn money with power. The first one you unlock are the solar panels. Once you've put three of those down, you unlock the regular wind turbines. Once you've put three of those down, you can go for the solar wind hybrids. These generate power during the day and night because at night there's no sunlight. The solar panels cannot work at night. And if there's barely wind, these won't work. So these kind of generate power almost all the time, except if there's barely any wind. Now these need to run their power lines either through each other or just past each other and through one of these things called a transformer. This transformer is set into usable power and then you can run it through your buildings as regular and it'll power them. Now there's this funny little box called the power export meter. This thing is something you connect through wiring to your transformer and you actually need to put batteries around your transformer in order for this to work. So let's do that real quick. Now these batteries are going to fill up with all the excess power you have, so power you're not using. And at the end of the day, it'll go through the power export meter and you'll sell the excess power you have for some extra money. For the power, there's also some grants, the green energy goals. Uh, goals 1 and 2 are to place wind turbines and solar hybrids. And you can read all, th all of these through as you go along. These are nice ways to just get things you haven't had yet because there's some unique um, rewards you're gonna get from those next up there's the whole farming section uh, as you can see there is four outside field areas which one of is mainly for a program the other three are actually used for your prisoners to work in and to gain money from first of there's fruit orchard uh, you put trees in here and over time they're gonna grow food the foods you can choose from are bananas oranges peaches and apples and off the top of my head, the bananas sell for the most, so you might want to go for those, but to have a variation is always fun. Now you need a farmer in order for these to be harvested. You cannot put any automation here. You need to have a farmer or prisoners that work here to have them harvested. So keep that in mind. This room, this outside room also needs a shed uh, to store the seeds. That also counts for the next two I'm going to discuss. Next up we have the vegetable allotment. Uh, here you grow vegetables as it says. You also need a shed again for the seeds. And this can be automated. As you can see I have these drip pipes. These automatically water every plant so you don't need anyone watering them anymore. You just need to run some water past those so they can actually start watering. In this room there are some things you can use to automate. There's a scythe, a basic gatherer and a harvester. And there's some other ones I'll get into in a moment. But these can be basically used to automatically harvest and gather your crops. I tend not to use these a lot, but it's just fun if you want. Just makes the farmer a bit redundant uh, if you want that to be the case. I tend not to go for that. I just like the farmer there and the person so they can actually work instead of everything being automated. Now, as you can see, there's also these dark brown things gonna be that are going to be placed under the plants. These are fertilizers which make the plants grow quicker obviously there's two types of them there's the luxury variant and the basic one the luxury variant is more expensive but grows them quicker next up we have the farming field as you can see it's just being harvested but there's nothing to harvest because it has already been done um but that's just how they work they activate every so many hours and then they just go over the whole area that they cover which you can see by hovering over them. There's also an advanced auto gatherer. This one's just bigger. It auto gathers. As you can see, there's some barley in it now, uh, which needs to be picked up by a farmer. Here, there's also a bunch of crops again. You can place whatever you want. I like to just have a variation of right about everything. And also again, a shed for the seeds. That's the, the main thing you need for every one of these, the shed, just so you can store the seeds. The rest of the the machinery is not necessary, you only need the plants for this for these rooms to work. Then there's the flower garden, this is basically just for a bro program called flower therapy. Basically just therapy but with flowers, uh, voluntary and you can read the rest of those specifications in the grants tab. 
speaking of grants, there is one more. It's called the solar panel development and it is a new one for the workshop. They just come in and they work on a solar panel basically. You also need one of those in there for it to work. There it is, practice solar panel and you need one per person I believe and maybe two that can cover one but I'm pretty sure it's one on one with those. And final one is the farm work safety. This is basically just for them. They need to do this so they can work in any of your outside outdoor farms. If they don't have this, they can't work there. Then there's also some grants. There's the green machine, which is basically just install one of each of the green power generators. Eco-friendly is only to use green power in your prison for five days. Basic farming is just to start building the farming stuff, reach specifications in the grants tab. And then there are some other ones that you need to unlock for them to be able to be selected. Just giving something back, self-sustaining, advanced farming and overproduction. And the final room that has been added is the pantry. In here you can store all of your food. It, it'll stay well in the fridges. So make sure to build those in there as well. A few new decorational items. There's the light, solar light. There's also a light that goes in the wall with a sensor. And there's these fun things that you can just add around your prison. This video helps you at all and you like watching some more videos on DLCs. Make sure to click here for a good tutorial on the Psych Ward DLC. See you next time.